over 600,000 missing person cases every year in America. The majority of these cases remain unsolved. Andrew Hawthorne's case is different. Andrew Hawthorne was a normal man. He lived right outside of Edmond in Oklahoma. He worked at a Home Depot store and everybody loved him. But about a month before his disappearance, the reports started flooding in. He was my neighbor. I've known him for as long as I can remember. And he was real nice until he changed. Andrew Hawthorne lived a quiet life and was known for his kind and friendly nature. But in March of 2003, he began to act strangely. Mr. Hawthorne was a really good employee for a long time, up until about a few months ago. Then we would find him in the store just staring into space, or he would be following people around and his eyes would be doing really weird things, and then he just stopped coming to work. I didn't notice his strange behavior that much until the night I saw him standing outside our house. We called the police and reported it, but I knew I had to take matters into my own hands. Me and my friend started filming him. This is his barn. It's so weird. What? <laughs> we were pretty convinced that something was wrong. Hawthorne was acting pretty strange. It was scary. The Northwest boy. He filmed a lot of videos of Andrew, and he began to circulate. I only saw them after his disappearance. I knew that the missing person's case was my main priority. Dude's totally an alien. I've met a couple in my lifetime, but no one was as much of an alien as that guy. Let me tell you, he had everything. He checked off all the boxes on the alien checklist. He was creepy, he was tall, he had the creepiest eyes. And he was tall, and he had a big head, like an alien. I found that paranormal investigator, Riley. Yeah, I saw him trespassing on Hawthorne's land, and against my better judgment, I let him accompany me as I investigated. This is the Hawthorne dude's house. Okay, so dude, this is his barn. I'm gonna go up and see if there's anything suspicious. I really don't think that's a good idea. Holy f look at these stairs. Incredibly old. Oh. Dude. Oh. Totally. Some alien went down here. This definitely looks like a place someone would die. I'm leaving. Dude, wait. Actually, I'm leaving too. Go! After investigating his land, I knew it was time to go inside, to the place where he was last seen. Andrew Hawthorne was last seen on March 8th by Nathaniel Northwest and Angie Roberts in Mr. Hawthorne's basement. After filming lots of strange stuff, we knew we had to find out his secret. So, when we were sure he was gone, me and Angie snuck into his house. He's, he's gone. Let's go. Oh. Super creepy. Food? He, he came out of nowhere and we blacked out. When we finally came to, half one was gone. Jones and I headed down to the alien dude's basement. Totally strange aura down there. Tons of food and stuff. Like he was getting ready for the apocalypse. The alien apocalypse? We may never know. 
We made it to the alien dude's house. We're going to be investigating the place where he was last seen. Which would be... In here. You first. That's what you... Huh. Whoa! Look at all the food he's got. He was sucking up or something. Something big. Huh. Not a crazy person. No. Hmm. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. What's in here? What is that? A diary? Looks like it. After a bit of digging, we managed to find a diary that belonged to Hawthorne himself. The last entry was dated just before the strange behavior started. The diary entry read as follows. I don't know why, but I've been spending lots of time in the cave lately. I saw the lights again, but I don't feel hopeful anymore. All I feel is darkness. They get closer every night. The investigation stalled after that, but I knew one thing. Whatever the cave was, I knew it was the key to solving the, the investigation. But it wasn't until I talked to Nathaniel that I discovered what the cave actually was. Yeah, the cave. Back when Hawthorne was acting strange, he seemed to have been spending a lot of time around it, like he was guarding it. After learning the location, Riley and I headed there straight away. Nothing could have prepared us for what we found. Hey dude, we found the cave. It's right there. We're gonna go investigate it. Jones is on the case. I'm telling you, if I had my equipment out here, we'd be getting some crazy readings. What the... Alright. Okay, it just looks like a... Okay. Wait, what's that? Holy... What is that? After going through an autopsy, we found that it was Hawthorne, and that he had died from a myocardial infarction, or heart attack. The only problem was, the body had been dead for over a month, while Hawthorne had only been missing for ten days. I don't know what happened to Hawthorne. Maybe he's a ghost or something. Maybe he had a twin brother, and he killed him or something. Okay, hear me out. I know I'm crazy, or I sound crazy, I look crazy, but, but here's my theory, okay? So, uh, Alien Hawthorne, he comes down to Earth in his spaceship, and he finds, but he's not Hawthorne yet, and he finds real Hawthorne, and he kills him, and he's dead. And then he takes his place in society, except not, because he's like weird and creepy. And, yeah only possible solution. We were forced to end the investigation there, since Hawthorne was technically found. This case haunts me to this day. The inconsistency between Hawthorne's body and his disappearance has yet to be solved. To this day, the people of Edmond, Oklahoma are haunted by the vanishing of Andrew Hawthorne.